Just pounding, the never ending pitch and roll. These waves are deadly. Without a doubt, they can wash a person off, so we close all openings on deck and prevent anyone from going outside until the weather clears. It wasn't physically dangerous to us, but it did take a toll on the crew's morale. Through the streaking noise of the steel hull, you could sense the fatigue of the ship and of the crew. Resting became difficult as you can't lay in one spot stationary. For those who've never been to sea, I can only describe it as if living under a 24-7 airplane turbulence. It was shaky. In the end, King Neptune took our firebox and a life boy. A small price to pay. Stuck inside that accommodation, I went deeper into the underdecks in order to see the ship's flexing. From here, the underdeck passage runs along the ship's length so we can get a good grasp of the forces at work. You see, even though the ship is built with thick steel plates and reinforced in almost every direction, the ship still bends and twists, succumbing to the sea. It's no wonder they call it force of nature. In rough seas, this can happen by the swell. The weather cleared over the next few days, and with some long needed rest, we were off to America.